Well guys, it's a little windy here. I tried to drop down into this wash so I could make this video real quick and give you guys some news. Uh, cut to the chase. It's been a stressful week or so after committing to, I don't even want to say racing, and I don't even really want to admit it, but I better put it out there so that I feel like I need to fulfill this, which I already am going to, but I'm nervous and no more jibber dabber. I am going to be riding a leg in the Baja 500. So yeah, in the Pro Moto Adventure class, riding a Cove. So I'm super stoked how this Cove is opening up all kinds of doors in my life. <laughs> One, you know, I got to go out and, and ride and, and meet Mason Klein, start learning about rally. Not, I haven't ridden any yet, but I, I would love to. And now, gonna be riding a Cove in the Baja 500. <laughs> and if you guys have watched any of my stuff, I've said multiple times, I am not a racer. I'm just a casual rider and I'm not fast. What I do pride myself on is that I have endurance and that I can go and go and go. So that's what I'm banking on is some experience, obviously not in Baja and you know, just my consistency. So and what I don't have is real world racing experience or fitness. And this is only three weeks away, guys. So I'm a little nervous, to say the least. But I just thought that I would take you guys along for the ride. A little bit of three weeks of some prep as far as riding almost every day. And gymming it up, going to the gym. Trying to eat healthy, get in the sauna, start drinking tons of water. And just prepare to suffer for the three to four hour ride that it's gonna be on the, I believe it's the 31st, the, 31st, the 30th? I'm not sure. I think the race is, the, or the time down there is the 29th to the second. And the race being on that Saturday, super early in the morning, and I think I'm riding leg two. So, yeah, if you guys wanna see what it's like for a noob to go down there, and have no idea prep a little bit go down there do some pre-running i want to run my my route at least twice before the race so I, i'm going to spend a whole week down there and yeah i'm super stoked super stoked for the opportunity anybody who ever grew up you know and watched from dust to glory knows what i'm talking about when I say that this is like a dream come true for me. And I've heard this story repeated multiple times, but I never thought I would have the opportunity or the means to race in Baja. And it, you know, and I'm not a, I'm not a racer, but watching that video, I'm watching that movie, that documentary and the other documentaries that have come since then about racing in the Baja Peninsula it just it's got such a majestic aura about it and I want I want a taste of it and I am so thankful for this opportunity never would have thought it would have come about and when the opportunity came up and he asked me to go ride I didn't even question it. I didn't, no precursors. I just said, I'm down. <laughs> How could I question anything? I just, I didn't want to not worry. It would figure it out. I'm down is what I said. But in all honesty, I did go and have to run it by my wife because that's what marriage is about. So, and you know what she said? She said, do you think I would stand in way of that dream? <laughs> she said, no way. She said, go do it. This is this may never come up again. And I said, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. So for a boy from the Midwest, 
to be able to go and participate in a race down there it's just I'm speechless and I'm my heart my soul is just filled up you know so thanks guys for watching and supporting thus far um, you know it's not about the bike the politics behind the bike it's just it's riding it's the love for dirt bikes and it's the love for you know this this life and this breath in our lungs that we've been um, so graciously given and so yeah you only live once live it right dirt bike do it right before your king do it right today before your king dirt bike do it right today before your king my motto peace out come along for the ride love you guys well guys couldn't uh leave you without a little bit of riding so i'm down here in the washes trying to get into some whoop because I think I got the rocks covered. Really, the sand and the whoop. deserves all of our attention but we just had three young Americans murdered down on the Baja Peninsula they went missing didn't check into their Airbnb after going surfing and camping and their family got worried put in missing persons report with the authorities on both sides of the of the border and then the families went down there with with friends and scoured and searched and the cut to the cut to the chase unfortunately those three young men were murdered and it's so tragic to think about that you know and me for the first time talking about going down and racing in Baja that almost puts a squash to it. You know, I know tragic things happen all over the place and I'm from Chicago, so I know about violence. But this is just another senseless story of violence trying to take over or take advantage of somebody and it turning to that for what? For some cell phones and some camping gear and a car that gets burnt out. Now your life's ruined in a Oh, so I feel for those families and I just want to you know pray for them and yeah just, it's just a tragic nobody wins 
Just my condolences to the family and friends. Oh, man. So, yeah. We're still going to go down. We're still going to go down to the to the Baja Peninsula, and we're still going to do it. And you got to trust in God and the faith he has for your life, the story he has written for your life. I don't know what the good is to come out of that, and I don't claim to understand it all, but I know I gotta live my life, and I can't live my life in fear. So, I'm gonna do something that... I've talked about doing since I was little. I've been riding surf bikes for 35 years. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you soon.